365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come, join us. Hello, friend. We're glad that you're here today for the devotional title, Barak number 28. Today is June 20, 2022. Our scripture reading for today is found in the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verses 1 and 2. And they say, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to have a moment with you. We ask, Lord, that we pause and that our spiritual senses are connected to you. If there is trouble in our hearts, please, Lord, we put it before you, asking that you intercede in the only way that you know how to. Help us to hear your word today, and may the message we hear be what we need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. They called it the madhouse where hope cherished. That was Barrack 28 in Ravensbrück, the women's concentration camp in Nazi Germany, where it is estimated that about 100,000 people died between 1939 and 1945. In the midst of that hell called Ravensbrück, Barrack 28 was the place where a handful of women dared to cherish hope, although from a human standpoint, there was nothing good to hope for. What was their hope based on? The promises from God's word they read twice a day in Barrack 28. How did the Bible reach Ravensbrook? Corey Ten Boom tells us that she and her sister Betsy, together with over a thousand other prisoners, arrived at Ravensbrook on September 1944 at midnight. At an inspection station, each woman had to take off her clothes and take a shower in front of the guards. Lord, how can I smuggle my Bible in front of so many guards? Corey asked in prayer. Then together with Betsy, she asked to leave the line to go to the bathroom. She was given permission. When she got to the bathroom, she hid the Bible under one of the benches. When it was her turn to go to the shower, she found it in the same place. There was only one problem. As they left the bathroom, the guards checked them again. How could she hide the Bible under a thin fabric of her dress? She prayed again. Lord, please send your angels to shield me so that the guards won't be able to see me. Corey says that the woman who was in front of her was Czech. Betsy was behind her, was also Czech, but she was not, as if she had been invisible. That was how the Bible reached Barak number 28. The place of hope. The place, writes Corey, where we learn that a higher power has the last word, even here in a concentration camp. Perhaps you're wondering, and how could they study the Bible without the guards finding out about it? Well, it turns out that the guards did not dare go into Barrack 28 because it was infested with fleas and lice. No wonder they were able to study the Bible without any disturbance whatsoever. What can we conclude? The God who uses angels and lies to help his daughters in the past can also perform a miracle for you today. Do you believe it? What can we conclude? The God who used angels and lies to help his daughters in the past can also help you and perform a miracle. Let us pray. Our refuge and our fortress you are God of the impossible, and you are our God. We will trust in you today and always. Amen. We're glad that you joined us today for the devotional. We pray that it has been a blessing. May God's love embrace you, and may you rest assured that his presence is with you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.